Dr. Betta, thank you so much for joining us on the program. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. I listened to your governor and um, he seemed to be a bit maybe lamenting about the issue uh, as much as he can take control of the closing of the border because the federal government has directed that all interstate borders should be open. Is that so much a cause for worry? Is this him alluding to the fact that this is going to be more of the entry of COVID-19 into your state? Well, that just simply says it. Um, in the last five days, the teams that have been on patrol, the monitoring team, have reported to the Situation Room saying that hundreds and hundreds, thousands of people have come in to cross the state as we speak. Yesterday, we had truckloads of people coming in from the northern part of Nigeria into cross the state. People have come in from Abuja, Lagos, and other epicenters into the state. So at this point, of course, we have to um, obey the orders from the federal government, which says that, um, of course, all the interstate borders should be open and the airports would come open by the 15th of July. And so at this point, we just have to speak to our people to tell them that, look, right now you have to be on your guard. You need to take responsibility and you need to do what is best to be able to protect yourself and protect everyone around you. So really, we are now open. And um, from now onwards, we can expect just about anything. We don't have the ability to assure anyone of anything anymore. Now, Dr. Edu, this sounds like uh, the, the, the idea of reopening interstate border, which, of course, at some point is expected as eroded the confidence of the government, probably to be able to manage the case. What else besides telling the people to take personal responsibility, which the NDC, NCDC has always said, is the state government doing to make sure that even if this virus enters the state, is maintained at a certain level and it doesn't skyrocket? Okay, so like the governor has rightly said, all the tax force, we're going to be back on the streets. We're going to help people and ensure that they do what is right, use the face mask. Of course, um, all the parties and all the public gatherings should not hold. We'll also work with schools to see that the reopening becomes successful and our children are protected. Testing has started at the Lawrence Henshaw Memorial Hospital. Um, NCDC has concluded training and the main team will be arriving on Monday. Uh, we'll work together to see that we can step up our level of response. For cross variants, we want to ask them not to panic. COVID-19 is not a death sentence. If you have any signs or symptoms suggestive of the virus, please go to the Lawrence Henshaw Memorial Hospital or go to the contact the nearest disease surveillance and notification officer. We'll get a sample, we'll get it tested. We can run over 100 tests in six hours and we'll let you know what the results are. You can drive mm -hmm. in, we can walk in and you get tested free of charge by the Russian state government. Now, maybe one more question before I let you go. So far, let's put it on record. How many tests have been conducted by the Cross River State Government? And if there are expectations that there will be imported cases into the state, given the lifting of ban on interstate travel, what's the capacity of the isolation center to be able to manage the cases eventually? Okay, so uh, basically we've heard, um, we have an isolation center, about 130 bed space isolation center, but like you very well know, that the different protocols for management of COVID-19 has changed. So not everyone is supposed to be taken to the isolation center right now. And they, we are going to stick to the NCDC um, management. Um, anybody, like I said, can come to Lawrence Henshaw Memorial Hospital to get tested. It's free of charge. And for the testing, um, of course, it's we're going to have centers where you can be tested all across the state. We have done several tests in Cross River State. I don't know the exact number as at the last count this moment, uh, but we have sent samples even recently and we'll be expecting results uh, to come in. We've also done the rapid screening across the various local governments, especially at border areas where surveillance was intensified um, because of um, the mixture or movement of people from one part of the country or one part of Nigeria to another country. So we've been able to do all of that um, for this minute. I don't have the exact figure with me and I don't want to be quoted. Dr. Beta Edu, the Commissioner for Health in Cross River State, thank you so much for your time. 